Hello and welcome to another video in this series helping field scientists use Open Data Kit. In this video I'll be showing you how to manually transfer your data forms to your Android device and how to manually extract the data from the field forms on your Android device back to your computer using ODK briefcase. Let's take an example data form made in Excel and currently in an XLS format. We need to convert this to an XML format so ODK Collect can use it. This can be done via the ODK website, but for this example, I'll be using a program called XLS Form Offline, and I'll link it in the description below. Choose the file and the location for output, and then run the program. Now we can see the XML form in all its glory. To transfer the XML form to the Android device, simply copy and paste it into the form folder in the ODK folder which is here in my Android device. The additional folder here is for any media that's used by the form. Now if we go to my phone you can see the form has made the jump and I'll fill it in with some dummy data and I'll show you how to import it. As you can see I've produced two final forms but I won't be sending them. First you have to restart your Android device. Then navigate back to the ODK directory on your phone and we can see these two instances of my filled out data forms. Copy the entire ODK directory to your computer and launch ODK briefcase. ODK briefcase designates a directory at the top where all your data is going to be stored. This is why it's called a briefcase. Choose to pull the data from a custom path to ODK directory because how the Android device is recognised, I couldn't navigate directly to that ODK directory on the phone, hence making a copy. Choose the copied ODK folder as your path, then select the form to pull and press the pull button. This then pulls the data into the briefcase. If you want to export this data, go to the export tab and then select a directory and press export. In the briefcase directory you can see my filled data forms and a few other forms that I've done before. Going into the export directory, you can see a data table of all the data I've collected. And for any media items I've uploaded, like a photo, it gives a file location. So if I go to the media folder, you can see the, the wonderful photo that I took. And there you have it. Digital data forms and collection without having to use paper forms. But you also don't have to set up a server, so it's ideal for small projects or in areas where you don't have an internet connection.